Hello viewers, this is Manash welcoming you to the series You the Oracle Expert, your one-stop shop to learn and practice Oracle Database Administration and Unix with hands-on experiments using Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines. Build your knowledge base, confidence, and make your way to be an expert Oracle DBA. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Oracle deadlocks which is often misinterpreted as normal oracle locks or blocking locks. So, what is a deadlock or Aura 60? A deadlock is a situation where two sessions are waiting on each other to release a lock on a common resource. Just imagine a real-life situation with two users. User 1 has the nail and user 2 has the hammer and both of them want to hang a picture on the wall. User 1 wants the hammer that the user 2 has so he can do the job but the user 2 wants the nail that the user 1 has so he can finish the work. If neither of the users give up, the situation will never end and the job to hang the picture in the wall will never complete. This is a real life example of a deadlock. Now if our friend whose name is Oracle comes to resolve the situation, it will ask one of the users to go home. Usually. The one who is waiting for a longer amount of time then take the hammer or the nail whatever the person leaving had and give it to the other user to complete the job this is the most effective resolution of the problem and oracle takes care of this very well so when a deadlock situation happens in the database oracle will take care of it automatically and we don't have to worry about this situation the only thing that we need to worry about is to investigate why the deadlock happened and we do that by analyzing the deadlock graph in the the trace file that is generated by Oracle on that deadlock situation. When a deadlock situation happens in the Oracle database, it's important to take a look at the graph that is inside the trace file generated because that gives us very useful information about why that deadlock happened or how we can prevent it from happening again. To explain the topic, I have established two SQL plus sessions using system user and a toad session using sysuser. The sys session will be used to extract various information about the other two system user sessions. All the SQL statements that I am using in this tutorial can be found in the text document that I have shared through my Google Drive and also provided the link in the description of this video below. For a demonstration, I am using a small table named test lock in system users schema with only three rows having only two columns named N and C to store numerical and character data respectively. I will run a few update statements on this table to update the column named N to create locking situation. To create a deadlock, we have to create a situation where two sessions will be waiting for each other to release a lock. And we have two sessions already established to the database using system user and the SQL plus application. Let's take a look at a few details about the sessions. So the first session with the SID 286 and the second session is with SID 78 that is this one. Now I'll execute the update statement where we are setting the n equal to 2 where n equal to 3 and we'll execute it to update one row and we left it incomplete because we did not execute the rollback or commit yet. So the lock applied on this row is still there. And we can see that the session ID with 286 is holding a lock on the test lock table. Now we'll execute another update statement on the same table from the second session. And in the second session, we are executing one update statement to update the n equal to 3 where n equal to 2. So these two are different rows and they are not going to block each other yet. So the second session also updated one record and we left the transaction incomplete. Now we'll go back to the first session and we'll try to update the same record that was being updated by the second session. So say n equal to 10 where n equal to 2 means this row with n equal to 2 
is being updated to 3 in the second session and the first session is also trying to update it to 10 and if we execute this we are not getting back the prompt means this first session is now waiting for the second session to release the lock on this particular row with n is equal to 2. Now in the second session we will be updating the row that is being updated by the first session in its first update statement. So say set n equal to 11 where n equal to 3. So we see that in the first statement in the first session it is trying to update the value of n to 2 where n equal to 3 and in the second session it is trying to update the value of n to 11 where n equal to 3 so both these sessions are targeting the same record and the moment we hit enter it is going to create a deadlock situation and oracle will automatically resolve it immediately and you see that the moment i hit enter in the second session to update the row the first session encountered the deadlock error here and it says that deadlock detected while waiting for resource and by saying so oracle has automatically rolled back the second transaction of the first session so now all we need to do is to complete the first transaction of the first session so the second session can also continue otherwise the blocking lock situation will continue please note that the deadlock situation has been already resolved and we are going to take a look at the trace file generated shortly first let's roll back the first transaction in the first session and we can roll back this transaction also now let's take a look at the trace files that is generated by oracle because of the deadlock to find out the trace file first we have to know the os process id of the sessions and we can find it using our sql statement we can see that the os process id for the first session it's 7226 and for the second session it is 7976 so we'll be able to see a trace file with this process id in its name to find out the trace file we'll go to the database trace location let's connect to the database and find out the trace location we can take a look at the v dollar diag info view to find out what is the trace location and we can see that the default trace location for this database is this one now we'll go to this location there will be hundreds and thousands of trace files and in the list of files if you take a look at the files generated in the last five minutes we'll be able to see that there are two files one is .trm the other is the .trc file with the process id that we are looking for and if we open this file the trace file will be able to see that this is the file that was generated because of the deadlock situation and it has some important information there so the deadlock detected aura 60 and the most important part in this deadlock trace file is this deadlock graph and in this deadlock graph you need to take a look at this column called holes and the other one called weights if you see all x there in these two columns then it means it is mostly an application issue probably the application is designed in such a way that the transaction is not completing fast enough causing other sessions to wait and also it gives us the sql queries in the trace file by looking into the module and the application that has those sql statement a developer can find out what might have caused that if you see an r or an s in this deadlock graph in these two columns then there may be something that can be done from the dba end 
such as increasing the init trans or max trans parameters in the definition of the locked table in question or if there is a missing index on a foreign key on the table involved in the transaction. But if it is all x in both these columns in the graph, it is mostly an application design issue and you can then follow up with the developers of the application about this deadlock. So with this, I am concluding this tutorial. So viewers, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Please hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss an episode in this series for the Oracle DBS or similar educational videos that I am uploading every week.